Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. Welcome to another video. I'm here at the San Clemente outlet for the weekly self OC cars and coffee meetup or show. Uh, it just started, it's right now 9 a.m. The show runs from 9 to 11, and uh, we're gonna go check it out. Come on. By the way, uh, I'm filming this episode not with my uh, Samsung Galaxy, but I'm using the new GoPro Hero 7. So uh, I want to compare the quality of that versus my phone. So uh, yeah, I'll let your feedback on that. The video will be recorded on the, uh, the GoPro. Audio will be recorded on my uh, trusty Zoom H1 with my giant screen lavalier mic. So yeah, All right, let's go. Yeah, you can see the cars are coming in. Jeep, Porsche 356, see a Thunderbird, see a Mustang, see a Subaru. All cars are welcome at Cars and Coffee. Uh, they don't discriminate, so whatever what you own, supercar, vintage car, piece of crap, you're welcome. There's a Cars and Coffee photographer. Yeah, these guys take all the pictures. I mean, I didn't want that. <laughs> all right, so starting in the front here, we have Simon's Cromero. Ah, a couple of Ford GTs here. Very nice. We have Jay's Ford GT. I'm still deciding if I want to buy this one. I mean, uh, I did notice last time when I was in here, if you look at this Ford GT, you notice the, uh, the big subwoofer. Big subwoofer for there, but you look at if you look at Jay's one, uh, he actually has a has a view every year to the engine. Cool. <laughs> yeah, nice view window. Right, 488, 599. Oh, I'm a Clarence Senna. Nice. Yeah. And it's in carbon fiber blue. Exposed, you can see it. A cool detail here. You notice the, uh, the weave goes here. It goes here. They meet right in the center and it continues up the, uh, up the spine there. <laughs> wow, you see the radio down there? This is crazy. Yeah. And this here must be the biggest factory wing I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> that is huge. Now, the US uh, McLaren Center only has two exhaust outlets. Whereas the European ones actually has three exhaust outlet. And the reason for that is in Europe, uh, they require the car to be a little more quiet than the United States. The US don't care how loud you are. So McLaren got rid of the third quiet pipe and just went with the two noisy pipes. Beautiful. I just, I can't figure out how big this wing is. A look at the engine there and the uh, upper intake air scoop. Stay safe and thank you for what you do. All right, continue. 458, 430, California, another 458, McLaren 650 Spider, the 4GT. I, this, I was following this car on the way here. So he, he showed up. This car came all the way from Texas. Good look at the supercharged motor there. Had a McLaren. The new Austin Martin Vantage. Another Austin Martin Vantage. More 
Lamborghini, the Toyota Supra, and look at this thing here. Oh, he's just stopped it. This is all engine. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a wheelie mobile. See, they put the motor way in the back. So when it takes off, it, it pops a wheelie. I'm sure it's a death trap. An accident waiting to happen. I, I wouldn't want to drive this. That looks really scary. <laughs> All right, back to the supercars. Yeah, it's cool, huh? No, Supra, Corvette, I8, Meta I8, GT3 RS. I like the matching white roll cage. Matches the white exterior. And a GT3 Touring Edition in, I guess, uh, forest green. Yeah, forest, forest green. And here's a GT4. So it's a good look between the uh, GT3 and the GT4. Uh, for Porsches, uh, the number going up actually means lesser car. Uh, GT4 is the least expensive. Yeah, GT3 more expensive than GT2 is the, the, the fastest one. Here's a nice manual transmission for all you purists. More Porsches, and over there it's the I guess Porsche's cousin, the Volkswagen, the Bugs. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Volkswagen this side, Porsches on this side. All right, and here we have the car that's basically just a dare to drive. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be a Chatham Seven, but the guy puts in a big LS uh, V8 on there, and. Uh, Yeah, it's just for sale for $39,000. And uh, basically, if you want to scare yourself and maybe, you know, get a brown pants, <laughs> yeah, you might want to take that for a ride. <laughs> All right, continue right along. We got a nice Cobra, wrapped up Porsche. Going between, oh, check this out. <laughs> Nissan GTR, <laughs> go wheels. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Nice. Yeah, the lot's filling up pretty nicely. It's uh, only been open for like 10 minutes and see already lots of people. Oh, another GT3 and a gt3 so you can tell that this is the 991.2 and that's a 991.1 <laughs> difference is uh you can see the the new nose design otherwise a uh, fairly identical car a little more update on the engine on the new gt on the dot two car uh, the coffee truck where you get the coffee because yeah, it is cars and coffee it's mostly cars but you know coffee Shamrock track, a lot of BMWs over here. Uh, so I see more modern cars on this side and the vintage cars on that side. So check out this one. This one here is interesting. Fully restored. 1969 Cromwell convertible. Uh, it's a nice Herc shifter. <laughs> the Alpine sound system, nice. On the GTO, nice. Another GT4. This is a Spider Edition convertible. Yeah. Again with the manual. Yeah. 
There's the Clovet clubs here. Couple of ZL6s, another ZL6, another ZL6, <laughs> Grand Sport. Basically, the Grand Sport uh, is, has a ZL6 body, but it's uh, not the supercharged motor. ZL6 supercharged motor. This is a cool Audi TT for sale. Hmm. Vintage muscle cars over there. <laughs> More vintage muscle over here. Uh, this Mustang's cool. Has a supercharger on it. Nice. Dogs always welcome my cars and coffee. Uh, look at this vintage Jag, wow. And that's the gay dog. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, it's actually, we know, he's really a cat. <laughs> Uh, cars are still coming in. Oh, wow. Cadillac SLR. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Corvette. And across the lane way there, you see some other vehicles. Buick. Thunderbird. Pontiac Celsius. Nice. Another thing I'm doing differently from the last video is uh, I'm doing a complete one walk through the entire show. You know, and my other my other videos were about self OC cars and coffee, I would cut it up, but I figure, yeah, let's show you what I, what I experienced as I'm walking through the show. And speaking of experience, check this out. <laughs> All right, that's an interesting set of headlights. Cool. Toyota Supras, Fast and Furious. Ah, there you go. Look at this is a uh, <laughs> BMW. Basically, uh, that Supra I showed, that Toyota Supra I showed earlier, uh, is based on this car. So this is the BMW version. Yeah. Which one you like more? Four twenty seven Grand Sport. Look at the size of those exhausts. Uh, I'll get a close look at that a little later, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> so, ZR1 Corvette, uh, most powerful Corvette ever made. Nice big wing, but nowhere near the size of that McLaren Senna. And this guy got it right, see? Proper manual transmission. Oh, I see a low rider Buick, vintage Porsche. What? This is neat. Moki? Moke? <laughs> I have no idea what make or model year it is, but there you go. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's just for sale, whatever it is. It needs from Montana. And, uh, huh. Mitsubishi. Oh yeah, it's trying to find parking now. It's getting really full. Uh, mean and it's green. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's this? What's this? And then not forget the electric bike. The electric bikes are cool, but I'm looking at this Mosig right here. Is this, a, is, this, is this a CBR? Oh, it's a CBX. Oh, there, yeah, I remember this when I was a kid. I used to love this motorcycle. It was 
an inline six cylinder. I mean, most motorcycle at the moment they give us four cylinder, but this was the world's first inline six. It's crazy. It was so wide. A lot of people, when they're leaning over, they tend to scrape it. So they had to work on the work on a design on that. Remember, John, it's, guys. it's for sale. All right, we're coming up to the uh, near the end of the lot, so it's getting there's more parking space back here. Generally, uh, the cars come, they fill up the front of the lot, they work the way to the back. So we're we're near the back now. Generally, uh, I don't come super early. I usually come like around 9:30, 10 o'clock, and the lot's totally full, so I can see more cars. But uh, I'm here earlier now, so yeah. there you go. The last two lanes, and the cars are coming in to fill it up. Milk tea and motors, love it. <laughs> See? Every car is a welcome car and coffee, even Honda C RVs. <laughs> nice C Class, AMG, <laughs> Low Rider Lincoln. <laughs> I'm going to take a Nissan Posa. I think that's what it is, if I recall. Nissan, let's see. If... Nope, totally wrong, Toyota. I thought it was a Pulsar. Nice, yes. Okay. 440 Magnum Plymouth. Mustang, a Mustang, Subaru. Over there, more muscle cars, and oh, look at this coming along. Nice. Some kind of Volvo. <laughs> Hunter Green, Forest Green, Tesla Model 3, with a body kit, go wheels, green wrap, blacked out vinyl on the chrome pieces. Blacked out on the door handles, carbon fiber spoiler. Yeah, pretty cool. Tastefully done. Oh, nice. Eleanor. From the movie Gone in 60 seconds. Corvette, Mustang, and these are the trucks. The off road clubs. And there it is. This is a 427 Corvette. Was this the one with a big giant exhaust? Let me double check. Oh no, it's not. It was another one. I, I'm gonna find. I need to find that Corvette with a giant exhaust. That was just hilariously funny. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this Corvette with this giant exhaust, that's just hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> the, <laughs> they're the size of Folgers coffee cans. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna take a wild acquisition here. And I'm gonna say that this is not a 427 in here. I mean, it's got the 427 badge, but I guarantee you it is not a 427. Yeah. Basically, this is a American rice. Yeah. Fake badging, fake exhaust. Yeah. You know, to each their own, whatever. Doggy, Ooh, you're gonna lick my, don't lick my camera. <laughs> uh, stock 64 Corvette, uh, Corvette, Corvette, vintage Corvette, nice uh, BMW M6, and there's the uh, Calic SLR next to my old Jag. Hmm, I'm not sure that's on purpose or, or is that just haze? 
<laughs> All right, the last lane here. Last lane. Nice LTD. Audi R8 V10 with a aftermarket spoiler. And it looks like they did some work to the engine. Got some cosmetic touches, a little purple down the rails there. Nice, another Corvette Z06, another Z06. C5 Corvette. AMG GT, Volkswagen. Oh, nice, classic Mercedes S-Class, nice. Yeah, there's still a few spots available for you to park your car. And it's, I think right now it's only like 9.20, so it's, it's cars are still coming in. Somebody's alarm went off over there. There he is. The Mustang. At least we know the alarm works. <laughs> the Mustang Club. One of the reasons I want to test out the GoPro for filming self OC cars and coffee is uh, because the Hero 7 apparently has amazing stability. Like, you know, I'm holding this handheld right now. Just your handheld on a, on a mini tripod, no gimbal, no nothing. And it's supposed to provide almost gimbal-like smoothness, like you won't see any up and down shake, anything like that. So uh, love your feedback on, on that. What do you guys think? I uh, think I should stick with the GoPro or go back to the Samsung Galaxy S10. Let me know. And here we are at the end. Yeah. So this is, the, yeah, that's the end of the show. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, this is a little different format. I just walked through the whole thing. One cut, easy edit, <laughs> at least for me anyway. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that. And again, uh, Self OC Cars and Coffee happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. It's open to everyone. The show is totally free. If you have a hot car, you want to show it off, you're more than welcome to, to just bring your car. Doesn't cost anything. If you want to, if you're just a car infused, want to see some hot cars, supercars, vintage car, any type of cars, come check out the show as well. 9 to 11 every Saturday. John Shelvin, GiantShell.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.